Welcome. In this video, I will show you how to take data from a file and read it into a two-dimensional array in C++. So first off, we need some data in a file. Here we have 10 rows of data with two columns of data per a row. So over here, we need a 10 by two two-dimensional array. That is 10 rows and two columns per a row. So right here, we are going to declare that array. We then need to include the F stream so we can read from this file. And then we can create an input file stream variable called iFile and open that in.txt into that iFile variable. Now that we have opened that in.txt into this iFile variable, which we could have some output to the user to have them enter that file name in, but instead, just for this example, we'll just statically open that in.txt, which we can do without having to add a directory in front of it since this in.txt is in the same directory as this C++ program. Now that we have a file open in this iFile variable, we can read from this iFile variable. It is the same thing to read into this iFile variable using the stream extraction operator to extract from this input stream, which this time, instead of it being the terminal, it is the file. So we're going to extract from that input stream into the array directly inside of this double for loop. Why a double for loop? Because we're working with a two dimensional array. So since it's a two dimensional array, we need to iterate over the rows using this for loop. So that for loop will iterate over these 10 rows and the columns using this inner for loop so this inner for loop will first read in this 20 and then this 13, come around, increment this I to one, and then it will read the second line of data, which is 24 and 23 in this inner for loop, loop back around, so on and so forth until all the data is read into this array. Once we are done reading in from this file, we can then close the input file since there's no need to have it open now that we are done reading from it. And once we have read in all the data, just for this example, we are going to just print out all the elements down here inside of another double for loop. And again, you could do any other thing with your array, your two dimensional array down here, just inside of some double for loops, but we're just going to print out the elements for the example. And then I guess we don't need this here because this will get taken up by that. So let's save that and let's open up a terminal down here and we can compile this program with G++ and the name of the program. Once we do that, we get a dot out, which we can run with dot slash a dot out. And when I run this program, you see I get all the data from this file output to the screen. We get 20, 13, 20 and 13, 24 and 23, 24 and 23, so on and so forth up until 35, 63, 35, 63, 44, 99, 44, and 99. And that is all I have for you for this video. Remember, down here, you can do whatever you want with that two-dimensional array. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video.